far. This episode is so sh. I thought that was in Danny Phantom. Nah, I don't know what daddy stuff you're watching, bro. <laughs> Danny, you idiot. Oh, right. <laughs> this guy said Danny Phantom. He said Danny Phantom. You, you, you can't. No, he did. He did. He did. One sec, man. Let me speak. Which is why we're talking about what's more satisfying, a sh or poo. Yeah. I got a new bike for us. We all stand outside Tesco and see who raises the most money. Bento. <laughs> what, well, Atypical goes begging? <laughs> ah, how would you pick? <laughs> <laughs> he does it on every episode. How do you fucking <laughs> pick me? <laughs> just, that's how you get. That's how you'd beg. I'm really upset my grandma watches it. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to a new episode of A Typical, ladies and gents. We are here, live, in person. Not really live because you're actually watching this pre recorded, but welcome. Uh, how's everyone doing? This is our third long episode we have recorded today. It's been. We're all hyped though. We've had too you much. You said coke. that was a yawn. Exactly. That's so yeah. I'm amalgamating the two answers. Uh, ah, yeah, you're smart. Yeah, you're not. <laughs> well, let's get into the first topic. We're just gonna slap into it, right? So, you've all seen. <laughs> you've all seen. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> you've all seen the <laughs> biggest <laughs> wedding of all times. Shorty. No one's seen. Mister Ambani. Tige. Yes. Shadi shuda ho gaya in India. Yeah, <laughs> all wiped up and that. Yeah, do you need to shave it, daddy? Though still, <laughs> all that money. That's what you bear that, bro. Um, but as you heard, he had a massive wedding in India. Rihanna, you guys spit out some names that you you saw people there. Just the Bieber, Shah Rukh Khan, John Cena. Yeah, that was crazy. <laughs> John Cena was crazy. <laughs> there was bare people. It was how many hundreds and millions was there? Anyone off the top of the head? Yeah, no. yeah, many. Yeah, yeah, many. I heard like over five hundred mil. That's what I heard. But a lot of yeah, yeah, lot yeah. Of so he done his wedding celebrations in India and all that. But turns out he's coming to Slough. Yeah. Apparently Slough he's boys. coming to Slough. So someone popped an article in the chat. Daily Mail, very you know trivial, yeah, very trustful. Prince Harry expected to attend Indian heiress's two-month-long wedding party worth hundreds of millions. That is taking place in dot dot dot. Slow. Yeah. Daily yeah, yeah. Dun, dun, dun. Make it. Couldn't so, <coughs> the couple, uh, most expensive party, they are doing it in a place called Stoke Place, Stoke Park, uh, where they're going to have it. Stoke Apparently, Park. King Charles is going to come here, Prince Harry is going to come here. Really? All these guys are going to come here. Apparently, going to do a bit of all of that. So, apparently, they block booked it for a two month after party. These lot really need to do something better with their time. Can I, can, I, can, we, can we talk about the location though, in it? Yeah, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. Because we'll I have a thingy about it, uh, which we talked a little bit about earlier. So apparently, um, the Ambani's don't do things by halves and so thought nothing of booking the entire venue for two months. Well, there you go. So there's a lot of that going on, right? Now, I came across another article, which I thought was quite interesting when I Googled this yesterday in my research, which I did for once. <laughs> Ambani angers an English shire. So this is 2023, right? Oh, what a heading. Yeah. With his overhaul of country estate. So, Ambani, Asia's richest man. I did not know that, is he? Yeah. Is he not yeah. More than, than Alibaba's. Billionaire, yeah. isn't it? Mad. In, no, India. Mogul. Like All right, not so Mughal. <laughs> <laughs> so, apparently, he, <laughs> the family members uh, posed and waved India's flag at Stoke Park, which makes me want to vomit. Um, Just like at the end of the Cricket World Cup. Yeah. As an Indian man, we love you. Yeah. So apparently, no, do we? they acquired Stoke Park's lease in 2021 for 57 million, and shortly after, they expelled its affluent club members and closed for renovation. Uh, the abrupt su- shutdown was a controversial chapter in the 1,000 year history of Stoke Park. It's mm. been about. Yeah, it's been years. about. What the fuck? Because <coughs> it used to be a golf course. <coughs> so oh, okay. Fair. He owns it. But I know you had something you wanted to say about this as well. Yeah, it's super sus, right? Because I was researching into this because I was trying to understand, like, what actually happens in Stoke Park. Like, why is it so famous? Mm. It has a golf it's a thing club, and it's a country club, club and yeah. stuff, right? So I went on their website and they have, on the homepage, they have a paragraph that says, due to all the media attention we've been getting over the last few weeks because of very affluent people who have been told to be staying here over the coming months, we can categorically sta- say that this is all false and no one is staying at our venue. Really? It says that on their website. Really? So what, fake news? They're just trying to misdirect someone? So they're, they're in Slough, but they're clearly not at this place. 
Well, they mm-hmm. clearly could be at that place. But maybe, like, you know, under, uh, all hush and closed off. Yeah. Nah, maybe I mean, why would you that? create more attention to it than on your website? Because they were, the attention was already there. I don't know. I'm talking sure conspiracies, isn't it? Yeah. It might you're definitely a conspiracy guy. Yeah, 100%. That's, I mean, that would be the best way to I didn't know he owned it, though. It's on the website saying that it's. I didn't know he owned it. He caught, he bought the whole thing. But that means, yeah. but we don't know if he does, if they're saying he does. No, but it's in like, it says he uh, he bought it, the lease out for mm. 57 million. Or whether they're doing it now, they're all not, is a different yeah, question. But he bought oh, out okay. the land. Yeah. But listen, the fact that they... Yeah, apparently it's like the place is almost bankrupt. So it might make sense why he bought it out. Because it needs mad renovation. Everything's falling apart. But well, it's a thousand years old. Yeah, there you go. I've been there, you know. Not yeah. inside, but on the ground. Yeah, really, same, same. Really beautiful there. Very nice. But yeah, shout out Slough in it. So I just wanted to start off this episode, shouting out Slough. Because obviously, I was going to do underrated, overrated. Turns out my things that I had were really bad. But Slough was going to be one of them. And obviously, Didn't as always, it's underrated. Hmm. I, yeah. I don't know if this is fake news, but I saw some leaks. So it probably is fake news, really. Yeah, yeah, I saw some leaks online about what actually happened at the first their first wedding. Mm. Where all the celebs went. Um, and apparently, lots of the celebs hated it. Like, they were leaving early. They were arguing with the staff mm. and stuff. And, like... The bride and groom were arguing with celebs and shit. So, I think the the environment was very negative. Based on Do that you think any of those celebs, no, previously to that wedding, A, knew who they were, or B, had ever actually spoken a word to that guy in their life? Do you God think knows. John Cena spoken to that man? The latter, definitely not. Yeah. Less than 1%. Yeah. They know who they are. But they got paid to come. Yeah, yeah. They, they probably know who they are. Rihanna yeah. did a performance there. Justin Bieber did yeah. When the flip has Rihanna ever done a performance in the last 10 years? Well, if you're getting... Yeah. If, someone, red, offer you, if someone offer you the 100 million... I can't million, on one hand. Is. Probably. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? So... <laughs> it's mad. It's mad. They got bread. It's bread and money. Like all those Masa, how much would someone pay you to do a concert? Well, he said That's he's going to do karaoke in Japan. Yeah. Jeez. 50 million. Patreon. 50 mil? Yeah. You, you, so <laughs> if someone offered you 20 mil, you'd say no? Yeah. He'd be like... <laughs> like he'd be like... <laughs> Hard bargain, double that, <laughs> <laughs> plus <laughs> ten. Yeah, plus <laughs> ten. Double that and half more. Yeah. Oh my god. But yeah, that was my Bonnie story. Nice. They for sure Good. don't know who he is. It's all very just like glitz and glamour, and it's so yeah. fake. What happens if he was divorced? <sighs> oh, divorce party. You know? Yeah, exactly. They do that apparently. <laughs> mm. They what? just have two separate parties. Yeah. If you might could choose one celeb to come to your wedding, who would you be? Michael Jackson. <laughs> Alive. <laughs> Mahatma Gandhi. <laughs> I thought you'd say Ed Sheeran. Nah, I don't really care about him that much. <gasps> come on the pod though, innit, still. That's men. You're still the One goat, celeb though. to come to your wedding. <laughs> yeah. Okay, sorry. Vic Star, do you DJ? Vic Star, DJ. That would be the worst. Vic Star, I'm um, hiring you for my Mol- Malta wedding. You know what? That's not a bad shout. <laughs> Malta? <laughs> my Maltese wedding, bro. Maltese, Maltese I like Vic wedding. Star. I like Vic Star on the set. Mm. Mm. Is it? Yeah. We both know you're lying. Nah, bro. Can you imagine all the Indian bangers you'd be playing? None. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, you bring, who do you bring? Do you want a funny answer or a real answer? Real answer. <laughs> uh, what celeb? I don't know, man. Tom Brady. I was thinking Tom, but it's just a bit useful. Like kiss his useless. kids on the lips. Yeah, 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 and his dad. So what? Mm-hmm. Fair isn't it? If someone <laughs> want to roll that way, who do you mind bringing to your wedding? <laughs> this is too hard of a question, man. No, it's I not. Just choose one. One it? guy. Or girl. Or girl. It's crazy. Oh, yeah, can't yeah. can't bring a girl. Wouldn't have a wife anymore. That's true. He was, he was thinking ahead. <coughs> he was thinking ahead. Um, that means I'd go for a chance. P- With the celebs? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously not. But any competitions, competitions. Fez, he's not wrong. He's not wrong. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know, you know. Probably someone funny. I'll probably do like a funny comedy set or something. I'll probably tell someone like <laughs> Santino. <laughs> To come to uh, no, Bobby. You want Bobby? I think he's too vulgar for a wedding. You don't, mm. at your wedding, you don't want to be, be able to hear Sun <laughs> 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 It's the wrong side of Asia. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know, you know. So the thing is, I, I could choose a musician, but there's no guarantee they play, so don't count. Okay, say you can. Mm. Say you can get the Then, then the answer is a musician or a comedian, because that is It would be awesome to have a custom live set. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That'd be sick. I'm going Calvin Harris. Reasonable. Hard. Calvin get Vic. Harris. Hard. Get Vic if you're going to get Calvin Harris. No, the I'm going to get done. Calvin Harris playing real songs. <laughs> <laughs> the meme's done. <laughs> the meme's done. <laughs> the meme's done. It's no, he's got you. a song. Him. He's got a song with Calvin Harris. You wouldn't want the... To be fair. To be Wait, fair, hold on, yeah. hold on, hold on. You wouldn't want the best R&B artist of all time, Usher. 
Yes. Oh shit. Yes. Here we go again. <laughs> well, I'm not going to back the other one publicly, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> um, so I guess it is our job. <laughs> Hold on a second. These celebs, uh, thanks to Shoji, he's updated. These celebs uh, brought some interesting presents to the Mbani wedding. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And um, Did he have Mbala there? Huh? Back no, unfortunately, yeah. nobody brought We've that. Gone back, to to gone back to Mbala. Uh, no, I'm talking <laughs> about like this. What do you think Jeff Bezos got, the, uh, got them? Got uh, the ten pound gift card. <laughs> Amazon <laughs> gift card. You got an Amazon you gift card. You got an Amazon, Amazon gift Prime card. for a year. Pretty, oh, close. <laughs> pretty close. Pretty close. You got him a Bugatti. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. For what? What do you think Mark Zuckerberg got them? Imagine if instead of that he paid his workers. Mark Zuckerberg got them a watch. <laughs> uh, he pays his workers. Private jet. Indian labor, bro. Mark like, Zuckerberg got them private jet. <laughs> you know these are all getting like. Tipped off as charity deductible. Like, oh, hundred percent. What do you think, right my boy? Off. What do you think, my boy yeah. John Cena gave him? Nothing. Nothing. Sure he wasn't there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah Lamborghini. Great, great chat. These man got too much money, man. Well, what's the point of even gifting that? Is John Cena built like that? But John Cena built, bro. What breaded, breaded? What breaded? What about Shah Rukh Khan? What do you think Shah Rukh Khan got? Shah Rukh Khan, bro. You talking about this man himself, like acting lessons? Him himself. Yeah. He was doing that at the wedding. He's a he's a goat. Probably got him some something gold in it, some gold something. Probably another daughter. He's got money, bro. Like, he's got an unlimited thing. An apartment in France. Made out of gold. Fucking yeah, I was right. Hell, bro. Yeah. So there you go. Apartment in France. You know what they say? The rich get richer. Honestly, yeah. money prints money, man. And mm. the poor get poorer. Bummed. <sighs> All right. Well, that was a bit depressing. Now, uh, what's the next topic yeah, of the, the day, guys? Mad off, man. Yeah. It's your 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 topic, your favorite topic, weddings and that. It's the third. Is that the third wedding mentioned in, in three long? <laughs> yeah, it is. That's <laughs> crazy. We need to get off the wedding. Topic. <laughs> <laughs> we need to get on right, go on, lads. He's, he's signaling. Uh, all right, I've got an excited. interesting topic. So, yeah. uh, I want to know. You know, we get so many views, right? We're so <laughs> famous at this point. We are lately, yeah. Right. So, so famous. Has there been any interesting uh, encounters you guys have had with people, family members, friends, who have discovered the pod? Because I have one. I have one. The other day. My grandma told me she saw the t- our TikToks. No way. Yeah. Which Your grandma's on TikTok? She's on That's TikTok, yeah, yeah. So basically what happened is she didn't tell me. She sent the TikTok to my mum and said, is this me, Sim? <laughs> <laughs> She's like, this looks exactly like him. And it was the Taylor Swift reel. <laughs> That's just oh, grandma's getting the algo. <laughs> yeah, bro. That is crazy. So I want to know if you guys have had any interesting bro. funny stories like we that. And as, soon, the 65 as, plus soon as, as soon as that happened, by the way, <laughs> I went red, bro. I was like, I need to leave the room, bro. <laughs> <laughs> this is mad awkward. Yo, I didn't but did she say something good or bad about it? She said shit. Fair. No, she didn't. She's not wrong. <laughs> she did. <laughs> Pretty factual, nah. then. She just said that it happened. Oh. Yeah, yeah. She just I actually haven't. I've kept mine a secret. Uh, so have I. But they just flipping. Yeah, your mum's like liking all of our videos. A shout yeah. in it. But yeah. Nah, mine's a secret. Uh, my family yeah. knows for sure. But they don't watch it. Uh, my cousins watch it. I hope Rav like really watches it, man. Rav does not watch it. Flipping what useless Don, honestly. Dick. Definitely does not watch we it. We can't bring it back on. Yeah, he's nah. I've, had, I've had people at work bring it up sometimes. <coughs> really? Which I is even interesting. About work, really. Very interesting. Really? Yeah. Have they discovered it or just by pure coincidence? Because you do like on your private, right? Uh, I share it on my private account sometimes. Saying, yeah. yeah, so through there mm. and then like word of mouth and stuff. I got I got a good topic about Elon Musk. Oh, uh, Elon Musk. He hasn't come up in a long time. He has he been a while. Has come on, while, just get energy about Elon Musk. Well, yes, and so there's some big controversy going <laughs> oh on. Oh my goodness! As always. Yeah. As always. There is a lawsuit against him now because of. His baby project called Neuralink. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Right, everyone knows about Neuralink, yeah. yeah? Mm-hmm. We I don't know if we discussed it at the time, but the first patient had yeah, the yeah. brain chip in, suddenly mm-hmm. became like aimbot hacker on chess and all that. <laughs> aimbot hacker on chess is outrageous. <laughs> He's saying it's statement. changed his whole life and mm-hmm. all that. Well, there's now a lawsuit against him because a previous employee has come out and said that. At the time when she worked at Neuralink, she was pregnant and she was forced to work with herpes infected monkeys because they were testing on animals for the brain chip. Yeah. But why did they, they have herpes? Couldn't, they couldn't have clean, yeah, they couldn't have like, like chosen clean, clean ones. <laughs> yeah. So not only were they doing animal testing, there's enough monkeys the in animal, the, world, the, the animals were infected and 
She was forced to work with it. So she said that... She's got herpes. She lips a monkey. <laughs> It's <laughs> fine. Either way, it's fine if you've got herpes. Why? It's or not, not Planet of the Apes. She's not getting with the gal, with the monkey gal. Bro, you know what? All koala, all loads of koalas have chlamydia, and we still love them. What's this calm about? I don't Animals know. in STIs, man. It's calm. It happens, bro. It's okay. Anyway, get back on topic, Jay. Okay, I'm sorry. Oh, we'll cut <laughs> it out then, right. So <laughs> <laughs> she was working in this lab environment. Mm. She had gloves on, and the Thank monkeys, the monkeys scratched through the gloves. So skin scratch, oh monkey shit. had herpes, and it also scratched her face. So she then obviously Ooh. flipped out. She immediately left and called for medical attention. Mm. No one bothered to listen. What the fuck? Right? So she was like, she started going mental. She was like, went straight to whatever, who was around. And she was like, this is what happened. You got herpes. I'm in a terrible environment here. I need medical attention. And... All they said was they basically threatened her with severe repercussions if um, she put herself in that situation again. What the fuck? Makes sense, and Elon Musk is not known for having the best conditions. Yeah. That's That's so well. then she left, and now she's putting a, a lawsuit against him. And what's her like mm-hmm. STI situation? <laughs> <laughs> you trying to gather information? <laughs> yes, I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't think she caught it. Is he, is he okay, on the God. spectrum God. between sloth and koala bear? Where is she at? Where is she? Why did you bring up koalas? <laughs> Because a lot of koalas have Why are you bringing up sleuths? <laughs> sleuths got Sleuth? STIs as well, bro. No, they don't. Yeah, they do. Sleuths are clean. No, they're not. they got STIs. Is it? <laughs> How do they get STIs? Part. They have sex once a decade. they got STIs, bro. Sleuth transmitted right infections. Yeah, man. I'll show Wait, you right so now. What? What? what the fuck is fucking the sloth? Another sloth. sloth. Another sloth. <laughs> now, why did that <laughs> get STIs? Why would anything else fuck a sloth? <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, though, today's day and age. But yeah, Neuralink's fucked. Mm. But you could be an aimbot hacker, though. So would you get would you get a brain chip? No, oh no. What never, never, never. No. not no even chance. cyberpunk era. Nah, no chance. What about if? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's. I got autonomy over my own body. Yes, I agree. I don't want a big corporate company having their flipping. No uh, OCP, no Robocop. Nah. What if it was a small corporate company? <laughs> maybe. Oh. <laughs> it's it's small limited small corporate. corporate company. Yeah. Maybe. What if it was? Oh, I was about to at your whole company, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, at your whole company. Um, <laughs> well, well, hey. <laughs> What if, like, it's in the future? As Jake, that was actually my next question. What if it was in the age when that's normalized, like no. cyberpunk, like, like altered carbon, where it's like everyone's got yeah. to sleep? Nah, just no. I, I have EXO, mm. EXO style. Okay, okay, mm. yeah. put something in, but never like something that put something in. Got you. What? You'd get like your arm done. Yeah, I'd get that. Like, get like you wanted to say something else. I know you <laughs> did, you cheeky bastard. You wanna, would you have like a pistol arm? <laughs> no, I, I would have. Or you want like you want like a spork? Yeah, a Spider-Man thing. <laughs> A spork <laughs> of all things you could get. Or let me a eat spork. my fucking pepes, bro. Brother. What do you mean? Why not, bro? Why not? It's convenient. <laughs> to be okay. fair, utensil on hand. That's exactly. Hand. Yeah, yeah. I want a Swiss Army knife <laughs> yes. in my hand. Yeah, like the gadget knife. I wanted them to yeah. <laughs> the Gadget knife. Gadget knife. Gadget knife. You know. Yeah. Yeah, you know. He wants to be what? Inspector what? Gadget, bro. Uncle, please. What? <laughs> Uncle, please. No, I would have it as an exoskeleton, as in, like, I put my hand, my hand through that robot machine thing, but I would never augment any oh. organic oh. material of my body. God created you. Yeah. Perfect. I respect that. <laughs> so what's next? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Boy, this episode's so shit. Wait, that's a question. Cool that was actually not fucked it. Yeah, no. wait, the reciprocate answer it then. Yes, and. Yes, and. <laughs> <laughs> We're keeping this in. <laughs> no, <laughs> I said that. <laughs> <laughs> you got to get that high sand. <laughs> and, and then uh, this woman, what's she doing now? <laughs> what's wrong with you? <laughs> Is she, wrong with you? is she single? Is she single? Is she a single mother? Follow her on Instagram. <laughs> 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 she might. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> should we look at? Should we look at which animals have STIs? Yes. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. And how many have been inseminated by our shoot? <laughs> oh God. I know one definitely has. <coughs> Your mama. Is she a single mother? Whoa. We're talking about animals, isn't it? <laughs> is she a single mother? Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Too far. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> this episode's off the rails. <laughs> What's wrong with him? Hey, you what? didn't answer my question. Is she a single mother? Wait, his mom? What are you talking no. about? <laughs> Why are you asking for so much law? Where do I get this info? Huh? Why do you do find a LinkedIn you can't? Do your research. <laughs> do your research properly, innit? If you're going to come with a topic, have your research Word. done. I would not have that. Have your research though. done. From him. Exactly. Oh, <laughs> from me. Overrated or underrated? What did the kid look like? <laughs> Fucking dickhead, bruv. 
By the way, giant pandas have chlamydia and gonorrhea. <laughs> Whoa, what? what? The fuck giant pandas. Yeah. Giant pandas. Are bro, that is game. Yo. Went off the rails. I see. I thought she was the fucking slot. Uh, <laughs> only if they got something you said uh, they can't move <laughs> wait wait you know this is a wild article this is from 2008 <laughs> yeah it's from 2008 and this, it says how often <laughs> animals get stds and the first line is talking about senior citizens having upswing in infections so i need to know which, which which senior citizens are going to town bro humans or senior citizen mm. slots <laughs> no, no, oh no. humans <laughs> 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 How slow is that slot? <laughs> you, think they got, oh. you think slot's got pension or something? Some OAP slot. Bro, I'm oh. compared to Meerkat. That guy's like 90. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. God. Unreal. So we fuck animals? <laughs> no. no. This Which thing. animal? Which oh. animal? This Which is animal? a zoo tube. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a zoo tube. <laughs> Which animal are you choosing me? If uh, I had to mash an animal in it, yeah. if you if had, had to be a human because the animal uh, Here we go, yeah. Here's a question. If you had to mash an animal, yeah. Right, that's been a cartoon. Oh, okay. so like the sexiest one. Lola Bunny. Yeah. Oh, she's so peng. Lol. At me, bruv. At Actually, Lola. don't. Like, I've got a girl, but still at me on the side. <laughs> Who's going to at you? The Some Lola 40 year old man. Yeah, what of us. She's a girl. That's what her profile is going to be. Oh, Lola Bunny. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm saying Lola, bruv. It's also a cartoon. <laughs> People like, what's her name? Jessica Rabbit. Is always. Yeah. <gasps> the, the curvy Jessica one. Jessica Rabbit. Not Lola, Jessica Rabbit. Jessica Rabbit. She's the goat. Jessica Rabbit is hot. No one comes close. Can't lie to you. No, no one comes close to Jesse Rams. So we'd fuck cartoons, innit? <laughs> this guy's, <laughs> this guy's got a problem. Severe okay, problem. Ash genuinely cut all of his out. No, 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 no. This is not getting cut out. <laughs> you wanted to buy slots because they're slow. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> yes! This is our best episode. Produce us on all sides. Alright, if you had to mash. <laughs> yeah, go on. Go on, mash what? Mash. Oh, potato. Uh, no, potato. I'm potato. creamy, creamy, potato. creamy, creamy, potato. creamy, okay, creamy mash. Nah, creamy I'm mash. good with that. I'm good with that. That's school cafeteria mash, bro. I'll really? Dinner lady yeah. slopped up. Dinner lady slopped up. Okay. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> she did what? Beans on the side, coleslaw on that. You got a sloppy top from the cafeteria over. Maybe I did. Maybe I didn't. Mental. Whoa. What's up, brother? <laughs> <laughs> you got a hard one from the way she wore that fish net. Oh, That's so his disgusting. eyes are flickering because he's all oh, the flashbacks. ST, no, P- PTSD. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Post traumatic school dinners. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, someone bring a topic. <laughs> Wait, Kim Possible's length. Oh, so she's not an animal though. She's not an animal. No, she's a cartoon. But you said <laughs> animal. <laughs> he just wants to do what? <laughs> 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 he wants to smash your past cartoon in the shit. He wants to fuck every cartoon. <laughs> bro, we move on, bro. What's one cartoon you wouldn't? Bro, oh. Mrs. Incredible, what are you talking about? Oh. She is incroyable. <laughs> Unreal. I like her more when she was Elastigirl, though. That what? Same shit, Because I respect bro. married women. Really? But if she's not married when she's Elastigirl. Yeah, no, she wasn't. Right. She was Elastigirl. So Before that, after that, she became you Mrs. Don't Incredible. Respect, oh, okay. You don't respect women that aren't married. So I you have, don't you I don't respect your own girl. I have more of an affinity to not respect them if they're not married. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Yeah. Kim Possible in that. Yeah. Kim Possible was fit. Though. Well, so the, the emo one in Kim Possible was the villain. She no. she what? She go. She go. She, she go. what? The, the 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 goth version in Kim Possible. The <laughs> other one. Uh, the I thought that was in Danny Phantom. Nah, I don't know what daddy stuff you're watching, bro. <laughs> Danny, you idiot. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> daddy, daddy, uh, I wasn't the only one who heard daddy. Daddy Phantom. <laughs> <laughs> this guy said daddy Phantom. He said daddy Phantom. <laughs> you, you <laughs> can't. No, he <laughs> did. <laughs> he did, he did. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he clearly said daddy. <laughs> you said daddy. I heard daddy Phantom, bro. I heard daddy. F- actually, actually, I heard daddy Phantom. That's what Phantom. I heard you say. Phantom, Phantom text. Would you f- yeah. No, I wouldn't touch Phantom, no. Actually, I would touch him. Big that one. Big no, that no, one. I would touch him. I would touch him. You would touch him? Yeah. <laughs> oh, you dap him? Yeah, oh yeah, yeah delete that. Delete that. No, Bro, just stop taking cut to the next topic. Just <laughs> cut to the next We don't have one! <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, Hosh is be like, lads, lads, cut that out, please. Cut one, yeah, cut that out, please. No. All right, please, let's take a wish. I've got enough to talk about. I've got enough No, everything lasts two seconds, and then he turns into talking about slots. That is top right, everyone, has everyone heard what's happening in the nah. gaming world recently? Uh, specifically about not being able to own things that you've bought. This guy's so boring, man. What's that? We were talking about slots and it was fun. This guy's talking about games where you can buy. How do you think we go on to the topic of slots? 
Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Valid. Like, you no, bought, valid, valid, no, valid, right. valid, 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 so valid. But I started the episode, so everything's contributed to me. But yeah, go on. You t- well, we're cutting all that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm editing. <laughs> I'm really upset my grandma watches this shit. <laughs> I'm gonna make sure I'm gonna go into her phone, <laughs> unlock it, and make sure she unfollows the TikTok. You're gonna block our account? Yeah, 100%. <laughs> I turned that into a clip. No, That's hun- amazing. No, I'm 100% bro. gonna. Just like, you know, he was feeling it if that came out of the blue. Like, it just. My grandma watches this shit, bro. <laughs> Alright, go on, Jay. Yeah, go on. There's food. <sighs> digital property in that? Yeah. Yeah, digital property. Alright, basically, I'll make a short in it. Ubisoft. Shit, um, shit Ubisoft law lawsuit against them as well, Damn. because Ubisoft. um the crew won. So that's a racing game that came out a decade ago. Yeah. Uh, quite famously earlier this year, they shut down the service to that game. Shut yeah. down. Shut down. Mad Lock off. Trust me, Daddy Phantom. Now. Exactly. <laughs> they shut down the service to that game. That's, that's the Jamaican Zico. Uh, okay. Oh, bomber club. Jamaican beans and rice. Have you seen that woman? Nah. The buddy. Nah. No one's seen the buddy. We'll have to pull her up. Six we'll pull her up. We'll, we'll pull her up now. Not that one. Uh-oh. There's this white uh, old lady who's on, no who's going coffee. famous on TikTok now because everyone just sends her messages and she's a nutter. I got and no she water. Replies. She basically does a Q&A to these <laughs> Instagram messages. Hmm. And she's unbelievable. We'll put a clip on here now. She's so funny. Damn, you need to see but it. But yeah. Good. We're not, we're not Pe- pensioners that. got game. Right, okay. Anyway. I like pensioners. They shut down service to the crew one. Yeah. So people are saying... When do you actually own games and when do you not own games? So, what are your lot's thoughts on oh. that? First of all, well, with that, the Rockstar guys want to start making games like pay for play, bro. Oh yeah, yeah. Like hourly, hourly rates for games and daily rates for right. games. What yeah. GTA Six? Is that not Rock, the Rockstar? No, no, Take Two CEO. Uh, is that not a fake article? No, I think it was a real article. Fuck it up, bro. They're not gonna. It's, yeah, but anyways, but yeah, come back to your question. The answer is you never own anything digital. That's just reality. Unless you have a physical copy. Well, it's the multiplayer aspect, and you don't own it. No, you don't. You don't own it at all. They take games off the but store, and then you but can't then play it. So multiplayer really? only. <laughs> but if it is a multiplayer online only game, yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't should should the company have to before they shut down the server? Should they have to make it available offline? I think. But well, how would they do that though? If it's a multiplayer, make game? just make a you code it in so that it's offline. So you take it off the server. Yeah, so like local game. Yeah. But then the whole, but realistically, you're playing that game online. You're not really gonna play it locally anymore, right? Because lots of games are online only when they could be local. Yeah, but then, but the whole point is, you need Mandem with you then, didn't to play it locally. You can still play the game. You can still play through the story. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I mean, or they could say if it's a multiplayer game, they're like, we'll commit to to supporting this for X number of years, and then it's up to you whether you want to buy it or not. Yeah, but they'll never say that, right? No, no, but I'm, well, it's hypothetical, isn't it, my son? My thing is, you just never owned anything <laughs> digital, full stop. And the funny thing is, this what is about the Matrix NFTs. This is the age <laughs> 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 hey, got NFTs. How does that come up every time? Hey, you've got NFTs, Jay. You need to start designing some. <laughs> yes, and I'll mint them. It's I'll mint just open sea. It's right, just we're money gonna, laundering. We're gonna bring NFTs back. Yeah, we're bringing we're NFTs back. <laughs> back. Ninety-nine originals, nah. <laughs> Um, yeah, and 99 it's ironic. Tips. 99 this tips. Yeah. This is the age of the digital era, and yet we don't own anything <laughs> digital. It's just a pure reality. Unless it's a physical copy, full stop. You can't expect it otherwise. It's BS, but when you have these corporate companies, they only have incentivization for oh, yeah, money, yeah. money and shit. Only the big corporates, not the small ones. Not the small, not the small ones. companies. How, yeah. how long do you think it'll be before games consoles don't exist? It's basically all online subscription. I would based. say the PS6 is the last physical console. For sure. I got totally agree with that. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. PS7, that's digital. Streaming thing. 100%. Fact, PS6 might transition. They might not be a PS6, a PS6 Pro because already you're going to be working on just the streaming platform, which is what PS Now is anyway. So we won't buy a, a physical hand. Bro, yeah, physical console. discs are going it's out. Just so buy a subscription. Done. For sure. It's weird because retro games just go up in value over mm. time. Absolutely. And that is because of the physical side of things right Supply the cartridges demand. that you can scarcity. get scarcity that's what i'm saying isn't half of the half of the the novelty buying like for example buying a console sometimes going out to do it the, the act of doing it is is human like you're, you're buying a console you have the console you have at home even if the games are digital even if the games are digital <laughs> 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 rap god 
there's still um like it's still knowing that you have the console at home is kind of like it's nostalgia in it yeah it's nostalgia it's nostalgia for the but it's nostalgia for those like us yeah we're probably the last generation of people who could connect to physical consoles on that level i've got nephews yeah, yeah, they just started meeting teenagers. iPad babies they can't do, do it. Yeah, they they ain't got the facilities. They for ain't that. got the facilities for that big. So man. at that yeah. point, it's just a it's just a Steam. Shout out iPad babies still in yeah. it. Yeah, hope you subbed. Damn, what's, what's there's not even at that point. It's not even PlayStation. They might, I'm guessing they might get PlayStation. There's, there's, there's no yeah. station. Yeah, it's just play. it's just play. Yeah, play good Steam. point. To be yeah. fair, it's just play. It's just competition then for Steam. That's literally it. So what's happening right now is PlayStation lists this YouTuber. Lists. That's the name. <laughs> this YouTuber has started a petition. Copyright that. Uh, I don't know if they're a famous YouTuber or not. I forget what the name is, but I'm assuming they got a big enough clout that they can start this petition. Okay. So they've started it. They need a million signatures for it to go to the European High Court. Uh, I think it's the yeah, petition started mind. like a week ago and it's on like 100k. Very useful there. Um, <laughs> yes. But what he's trying to do is, <laughs> what he's trying to do is get the EU law changed mm. so that companies <laughs> physically cannot um, stop their service. Pe- people not being able to own their digital games. Well, you know what Either that, that or like. refunding them, I guess, when they take the game. You know what that sounds like? That sounds like you can't get in no console games from that one, bro. <laughs> Literally. Yeah. You're going to start buying consoles from Turkey. Fucking mental, bro. The last time you guys bought a game, was it physical or digital? Digital. What was it? My uh, PS5 was digital. Um, it would have been that boat game. It's new in it. The one where you just drive around fish. <laughs> oh, Dredge. Simulator. Dredge. Yeah, you yeah. got that? Yeah. Oh, I really want that game. It's really cool, man. Yeah, we want that game. Yeah. What, is uh, it a fishing th- simulator? <laughs> Pretty much, oh, but man. it's like a darker under, under... There's a darker underbelly to the story. It's like there's something going on. Jeez, in that, what the overbelly? The overbelly is new. Okay. Mine's problem. probably also digital, but I do want to buy... I wanna really want to get Prince of Persia physical. <sighs> okay. Which one? The, the new one. The Castlevania style one. Oh, okay. Platform one. Yeah. I mean, uh, converting everything to digital anyway because that's the future. So you you, you kind of unless it's like special editions or something that you want to buy, the best thing everybody could probably do if they've got PlayStation fives and if you don't adopt it, is to start converting (laughs) everything to a digital uh, collection. (laughs) Why? Because everything from the future is going to be digital only, and it's not going to be physical. We're not going to have. There's a reason why. The PlayStation Five has a digital version and a digital no, version. No, hundred percent. The PS Six is not going to have any disc capabilities. Yeah, but a hundred. But you'd still have your PS Five. Yeah, I know, but I'm saying just from now on, like you, just, you don't want to have like six consoles at home. You start playing in it, so I that's why a lot of people I say. I th- but but I one think one sec, th- man. <laughs> Let me speak. Slots. <laughs> that's why a lot of people say that PS Five and PS Six is all you need because you can play all the previous games on the PS Five. So then, once you got the PS Five and you sort that out in terms of having your PS Two games on there and PS Three games on there and stuff, then that's it. But at some point in time. We could get to a position where Sony Entertainment Network doesn't exist anymore. Nah, it's not true, bro. Hundred percent, it could be. It's been loads, loads. Of, that's happened before for so what, loads of different companies. PlayStation ceases to exist. Well, could that's, be. That's you never know. The there could be a new alternative. So Nintendo. A- anyone could invent in the future of gaming, nah. or Sony could nah. just change to something nah, else. Nah, you said whereas if you have a physical yourself. console and a physical nah, disc, you will always be able to play. No, in the sense that you said PlayStation, right? If you take the station away from it, it will just be play. Yeah. The Sony equivalent of that will be. Or, you know, it's just another competition for Steam. It's just, there's no physical console anymore. So, at that point, isn't it just, it's all nah, on the it's cloud still, or whatever. It's just yeah, Sony. The thing is, you, that's why he's, saying he's, another, he's saying Sony dies, another company comes. But then what's, the or Sony field. just but changes. They just change whatever their thing is. They delete all their catalogs. Yeah, what's nah. Sony's USP to continue selling? So that's, like the thing. Nah. that's why these game companies have ventured into uh, expanding their actual studios mm. and buying other gaming stuff. The reason I have a PS5 it's to play the Sony exclusives. Yeah. True, it's to play true, the God true. of War. Yeah. That's the unique IP. Mm. They've still got me hooked on that. Mm. So I know what your argument is at what point when it becomes everything's on streaming. So what's th- why would I go for Sony's one? The answer is because I still want to play the IP. The, games, yeah. the funny thing is though, they are transitioning all of them onto PC. Mm. Like you can play Horizon now on the PC, you can play some God of Wars, but that's still like two, three years that it's like at that point, um, okay. yeah, I'm, I'm incentivized enough to play them. That's really sad though because it's going to take away from like having a console bro like the fact that you have the when you say you have a <laughs> ps5 it's like the fact that you you have you physically have it it's half the fun is having it if it's not there and it's everything's like bro half the shit of like everything's just going to the fucking cloud bro mm-hmm. our future is just moving into like becoming robots bro it's so boring like, space yeah fuck, there's no human that's element every, to anything listen you know what man tech. you know what i'm saying bring back monopoly man Bring back board games. Oh, by the way, they've oh, got true. They've I got completely agree. Bring back Connect 5. There's, there's, there's a, a new Monopoly too. game coming out. It literally is. 
Is it? Yeah, it's mental. Yeah. So there you go. Buy it. We could actually do that. Let's stream that. Is it physical? No, I think it's a video game. Uh, I tried to play the last one, but every time I try and play it, this guy sabotages me. It's not true. It is true. I just decided to not sell anything to Hamza ever. Because <laughs> um, brown brown I'm too brown. good at the game. How can you be good at an RNG-based game? You can be good. There is skill involved. In Monopoly. In throwing oh, a hundred percent. You got uh, it's tactical negotiations. Have you guys done the um childhood the IRL Monopoly? Have you tried the IRL Monopoly, the one in London? You mean like a board game? <laughs> 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 uh, I mean the big one. Yeah. The you big one. The, yeah, yeah. yeah Interactive one. The big one. Yes. Yeah. Have you tried it? Yeah. What do you, what's your thoughts? It's not. It's not like what you think it is. It's not like how the sidemen do it, which is why I was so disappointed when I went. Yeah. It's like it's like you're in a room why? and then there's. Three, four doors. <laughs> <laughs> you thought I was gonna let that slip? You went dumb. I was waiting for it. I, was <laughs> I let, I let it fester. <laughs> but then you throw, you throw dice, f- huge physical dice. But then you're not, you're going into each property and there's a door in it. You go into the door and then you do a task. Yeah. Rather than actually like, you know, Jeez. it's not. So really basically, like it's crystal maze, isn't it? It's yeah, it's, it's a form of the crystal maze. Yeah, pretty much. And yeah, I've heard there's only like one colorful. You need one house to create uh, one hotel or something. I don't remember. You need one house to create one hotel. One thick. What's the thing before a hotel? A house. house. It is a house. You need one house to create a hotel. Yeah. Oh. Yes. How many do you normally need? Like four. Yeah. Four, yeah. And all the maps not there. <laughs> the map. All the boards are not there. Yeah. Jeez. So <laughs> Where are we dropping last? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> dropping on Bond Street. Oh. And you're versing like a whole. Greens are the team. worst. Oh, is and it? They get r- well. <laughs> These lot got roof work, bro. It's fucking funny. <laughs> What's the worst <laughs> colour set paper? on Monopoly? How much no, I went with work. The oh. dark brown. What's the worst colour set on Monopoly? Colour set? Brown. Yeah. Green. Oh, you're going to say green. Green. Uh, yeah, but it's oh, the dark brown. You mean in yeah. terms of p- statistics? Green, yeah. green statistically, like the least amount of people land on it or Isn't something? Isn't it blue? Yeah. Green, nah, you just get no it's money. Green, bro. Green's the no worst. Green's the worst. lands on blue. Green's the worst. It's not because of the amount of money to put uh, the, the houses mm. on there. But green is the worst. No, the browns are actually low key elite. Man. If you can slap up a couple of hotels on that team, long day for yeah, what you pay the 20 quid. Yeah, the browns yeah. are e- equally as useful as the blues then. Because it's nah, the same nah, thing. Nah, it's nah, the same nah, position. Nah, nah, nah. Because nah. the blues, blues, you land on a blue. If you land no, on a blue with a hotel, you're paying 5k. Mayfair no. and Park Lane, that's it. You're talking about the light blues, no? I'm talking about the dark, nah, dark blues. Dark. It's the same uh, thing with browns then. Nah, nah, nah. Brown and dark blues. I was playing Monopoly with a white mate. And whenever we landed what? on brown, what? What? yeah, no, no, there's a reason. That's a crazy thought. Every time topic. we, every time we, he landed on the brown property, you say, "Oh, I'm in Brown Town." Everyone else is brown on the table. Did you slap him? No, he's my boy. Yes, <laughs> you dapped him up. I was like, my yeah, guy. you joined now. This was part of your work lot. No, this is this <laughs> <laughs> no, this is a uni. Oh, I would say every time we land, <laughs> imagine, bro, I'll be brown. <laughs> I would say every time we land on Whitechapel, say the same to him, but they were Bengali. <laughs> so oh, how is this? What is going on? From uni. <laughs> Nah, white town is full of Bengalis, isn't it? Oh, you mean okay? Yeah, so instead of saying, "Oh, look, white town," she can't because they're all Bengalis. We can't. Yeah, that's too funny, man. Shout out to white town. <laughs> <isn't it? laughs> that is true, though. Yeah, shout out my Bengalis in that. Nah, I knew you'd say that. You don't shout. Nah, how many Bengalis do you know? No, I'm just saying shout. Uh, too many. Oh. Yeah. The Bengali tips. As a brown man, we like, like you. Yeah, I don't. We like Bengali tips. I don't. Yeah. We like Bengali tips. <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> I don't. That's crazy. You sloth the bastard. All diddy. All oh, Diddy. You said all oh, Diddy. What's wrong with that? I'm just sharing love. <sighs> <laughs> you know what? Yeah, those of you who have tuned into today's episode, I'm oh, sorry. Crack energy. Yeah, just know that go. today's episode is a loose one. It's a vibe. So we're just flowing. We're just doing things. And you know what? You're gonna enjoy it. And if you don't, we fuck don't off. Yeah, we don't care what he said. We don't care. He's getting no views. We don't yeah, care. No one cares man. anyway. No one's so watching just enjoy it. <laughs> if this video has lots of views, that means Jay did a good job in his thumbnail. If you didn't, <laughs> fire. <laughs> Simple. Yeah. He's not wrong. No, no, no. He could be wrong because Hamza might have done a shit job at naming the episode. The title. Nah, nah, so nah, nah, nah. it's either one of these two. Nah, nah. Susan Wojniacki. So Susan Wojniacki said uh, thumbnails are more important. Who the fuck is that? <laughs> the CEO. Is that a tennis player? <laughs> uh, probably is. You th- do you trust the CEO on actual information to do with YouTube? It's yeah, crazy. She realizes it? it's not social media. It's more like she's trying to peel the shareholders. All right, do we actually have any serious other topics? Yeah. We have a deep one, no? Can we introduce that deep? How much? What's the runtime right now? Forty-five, on my side. I would like the viewers to you know leave this episode and have yeah. have some kind of like oh, that was interesting. That episode is all about <laughs> slotting STDs. 
<laughs> uh, you know, I'd like them to go away and think about something more meaningful. Yes, I, I agree. I agree. Uh, otherwise, it wouldn't be atypical. Yes. 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 Go on, Which is why we're talking right. about what's more satisfying, a shit or a poo? Oh, I like a it. They're the, same oh. same. They're the same thing, though. Shit or a piss? Piss. Oh. piss. What's better? Piss. Shit or a piss? Golden Quickly before we get into showers. Yeah. yeah. More satisfying? Go shit. Showers. <laughs> shit? What did you say, Hoshi? Yeah, I'd agree. I'd shit? Go on, showers. Right, piss. I'm saying a piss. Yeah. The best shit versus How is the that best satisfying piss? for you? It hurts you. No, it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> That's fake news. I don't have really STDs. Don't I don't have chlamydia. Or your something willy don't that. work. That's what you say. <laughs> sloth. Yeah, isn't it? You <laughs> sloth. saying your willy doesn't work. All right, Jay. True. That was just a segment so you'd get your topic out and yet you took a sip of a drink. <laughs> I'm parched. Right. right. The best shit is better than the best piss. Um, okay, I'm, I'm going to play the devil's advocate because uh, you know what? what? This whole topic... Is, uh, is is on the tipping point. It got really well off. Tipping point. Yeah, yeah. Tipping. So I'll start with a question. I'll start with a question. I'll start with a question. <laughs> are we gonna get cancelled? No, no, no. We yeah. if we haven't already. I was gonna say kind of wake up. <laughs> right. We're not getting cancelled. So one. W- would you guys slash do you give <laughs> money to homeless people? Work harder. Do I give money? Do you give money? I give. I take their jackets, bro. My guy. Balenciaga saga. Yeah, yeah. Cortez I'm a bad man baller. That is crazy. You would take the clothes of, of, of a homeless man. Yeah. yeah, they ain't got a yard. What do they need clothes for? <laughs> She's not wrong. He's not wrong. Work harder. <laughs> Work harder. Like, Work harder. Like, what do you do? <laughs> Hold a second. Let me get this correct. You still going to strip a homeless man. Yes. You steal clothes off the homeless man because he's got a better fit than you. I'm so <laughs> fucking loopy. <laughs> what do you need them for? <laughs> what the fuck are you wearing those for? <laughs> Give me Work them harder. By the way, Work this harder. This is, we have two. Work harder. Two, we have two Work recurring harder. themes, yeah? Work harder. Two recurring themes. We have gunned homeless people before. Work harder. And called fat women fat. <laughs> We can't That's have our a, two we can't like have recurring deep topic if people aren't willing first to First things first, you are solely responsible for all the fat gender. No, I'm not. <laughs> number two. <laughs> <laughs> number two. <laughs> for all the homeless fat people agenda. out there watching this. <laughs> well, uh, how they got they bigger problems. <laughs> you got this, man. Work harder. <laughs> oh, shit. You think a homeless person is listening to our pod? Yeah. That's crazy. Statistically speaking, we're the closest. Zero. Statistically <laughs> yeah. speaking, zero. Yeah. <laughs> zero. I don't think. But what does it mean to have a home? Can a lot of people have a house but not a home. Can you it's answer so the question? A lot of people have a house I'll, but I'll not a home. I give food to them. I give food to them. <laughs> what was it? Well, no. <laughs> yeah, sec. I help contribute to that as well. What, one sec, one sec. I got no. a question. Yeah, I got a question. I got a question. Guy. I got a question. What was the question? <laughs> The whole no, 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 no. I, actually I the wanted to joke about it, but I also want to do it seriously. We can do both. <laughs> brain dead gold. What's the question? What's the question? What's the question? What's the question? Oh, brain oh, What's the question? I know, I'm this doing this on purpose. I'm doing this on contribute? purpose. No, no, I will. Uh, wallahi, I was going to make a joke first and then ask about the serious stuff. Make the joke wallahi. then. No, oh, yeah. <laughs> Would you give money to a homeless man? Yeah, I have before, you know. It depends, though. Like, I've got to analyze them first, innit? Like, are they going to take this and, like, yeah, yeah, what harsh is doing. All right, so what are you analysing? Go on, talk us <laughs> through it. So, <laughs> teeth. Are their teeth rattling? Are they My scratching their skin? My teeth are bent. Are they scratching <laughs> their skin? Right. Put the clip there. Did Put I, the clip in. Did I see them looking for cigarette butts? <laughs> Do they stink of alcohol? If yes, then chances are I'm not going to give them money because I know they're not going to do anything good with that. They're going to go, you know, drink alcohol, buy stuff like that, which is not good for them. But I have a home I'd do that. But if I got the time, mm. maybe I'll buy them some food and then give it to them or something like that. Yeah. But if I know that they look calm, blessed, and everything's okay, then I'll give them money because I'm gonna have enough trust in them to you know go use it in the right way. Right. What if they look quick tangent? Mm. What if they look so calm they might not even be homeless? <laughs> then in that case, oh, you ask money. for money. <laughs> 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 give me money, then, brother. <laughs> give me money. Because I've seen certain Honestly, homeless people. Yeah, right, lads. Uh. <laughs> you you really like their fits. <laughs> guys, <laughs> guys, I got a new bike for us. We all stand outside Tesco and see who raises the most money. Mental. <laughs> <laughs> what eight to goes begging? <laughs> Mental. <laughs> gone, gone wrong in the hood. <laughs> Go <laughs> wrong in the hood, violent danger. <laughs> he said we're not gonna get cancelled. This shit, bro. Is he dumb? Like, Is he dumb? What's, what's your begging technique? <laughs> what, what to get them? Please, yeah. sir, can I have some more, sir? Please, please, can I have oh, some more? Oh, we just, oh, we okay. just got this out. We just got this out. My begging technique is I'm closing my eyes, bro. And he's, closing, he's closing his eyes. He's doing this <laughs> acting blind. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> 
Oh, I already got this out. This is very just. Oh, no. This is all satire. This is all oh. satire. Listen, we're allowed to joke, man. Stop crying. <laughs> oh, my face hurts, bro. He's, he's so does this. <laughs> <laughs> so does this. He's like, can you give some more, sir, please? Oh. Yeah, listen, he's sir. I'm not trying to give away my special strat, all right? What's your strat? <laughs> How'd you pick? <laughs> <laughs> he does it on every episode. How'd you pick? <laughs> fucking pick me. <laughs> That's how you get. That's oh how you'd beg. God. That's how you'd fucking oh beg. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> two pad, two pad, come my ass, come my face, don't matter. That's what you'd say. You come nitty. <laughs> <laughs> so what's Jay's question? Mental. What's Jay's question? How do you beg? I'll use that one. Jay wanted to be the devil's advocate in this topic. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't got to the fucking topic yet. Uh, oh, get to it then. <laughs> Hurry up, Jay, man. He's <laughs> <laughs> never met a guy so slow. You know so he's slow. Beg quicker. He's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. Beg quicker. <laughs> beg faster. You get more done, bro. <laughs> you get more beef. Right. Yeah. What were we talking about? I can't believe we just laughed at the homeless for 10 minutes. That's yeah. unbelievable. I'm laughing so with them. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I don't so, think so you have given money, but you got to analyze them yeah, yeah, because yeah. you don't want them to do. I don't want to use it for alcohol. You don't want them stuff. to drink yeah. or smoke. I just don't want them to use it for things that are not good for them. Right. What are you saying? Yeah, I said the same thing. Like what are you saying? <coughs> uh, no money at all. <laughs> can't take anything <laughs> serious. <laughs> no, well, What's the point of this conversation? What did you always say? I was either going to say the same as them, which you would have t- yeah, done yeah. before, right. or made a joke at the situation. Okay. So I told the truth and no money. <laughs> 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 no, I'm joking. Oh, sir, do you have any money? <laughs> <laughs> um, there is a general consensus that you wouldn't give money yeah. in, in for reasons that they may use it on things that you know you think is bad for their own health. Right? Counterintuitive, yeah. So... Talking to a friend about this yesterday, we were having a conversation about like what is right and wrong in that situation. It is your money, but mm. you're trying to help people in need, right? And he posed a very interesting argument. So I will be devil's advocate. I'll play his role of what his argument was. So his argument was, is it so bad for people to use your money to buy alcohol or <laughs> Siri says my, yes. My Google just Google started going off. Right off. Oh god! Is it so bad to spend money on cigarettes or alcohol or other things that may be bad for them, if that is their way to deal with the rea- reality that they're in, right? And I'll give an example. In society, for better or worse, it is quite acceptable for people who go to work every day and have really stressful days to go home, open a bottle of wine, get pissed, and use that to deal with the stresses of their day. Right, and people agree with that. People don't agree with that. But in society, it's it's sort of accepted. So why are people who have less than us condemned for also drinking to relieve the pain that they feel in the reality of what they have to deal with day to day? Because they're lesser than us. <sighs> no, 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 no. I knew you're gonna laugh at that, so I said it in a specific <coughs> way. But that is true, though, isn't it? Because they, because people think. Well, I'm saying that think, not actual, not reality, because they're not lesser. But because people think that they're lesser, because they're homeless, because they're poor, because they're disheveled, because they're whatever, that they think they're better than them. So from an egotistical sort of point of view, an egoist point of view, they think that, oh, what's good for us isn't good for you. You need to do something different because you're lesser. Sort your life out. Don't do it like that. Do it somewhere else. Right. That's one avenue of thinking. That's one avenue. (coughs) The other avenue is, from, from our side, all we can do... Is yeah, fine. They might just make their money. Th- they might do what they want with their their money and whatnot. But also, it's firstly you would be a better person for giving them food rather than the opportunity to go get drunk. <coughs> but uh, the thing is, they're not a bad person to want to get drunk. But the thing is, there's a difference as a drinker. <laughs> there's a difference in the way we can drink. A, a person that is privileged and lucky enough to be in the positions that we are as opposed to someone who is less fortunate they are drinking to forget we are drinking to relax you know what i'm saying like it's it's a different there's a different <coughs> caliber to yeah. yeah there's a few liters of difference between those i was gonna yeah. say there's a <laughs> literally i feel like you're supporting their like addictions, addictions negative addiction which is way different to someone relieving stress obviously there's a very fine line mm-hmm. but at the same time if you can have the control over how you spending your money to help someone not 
you know, yeah. dip into the addiction, then I don't see what's the problem. Because in that, in that case, yeah, with like obviously the example that you gave, you could give anything to anyone <coughs> for them to do anything that they wanted to that they deem correct for themselves. But the reality is someone in that position doesn't know what's good for themselves. So you can't just, you know, for example, someone, like you said, might get pitch black drunk after a stressful day or a stressful life or whatever, and they might be like a normal person like us or whatever, right? That's actually not good for them. Just because they have their own money and they can do whatever they want doesn't then automatically make it good for them to do those things for themselves. And the same thing goes for anything else. So yeah. yeah, I completely agree. Yeah. I yes. mean, yeah, on. I was going to say to spin off that kind of question, if you were, if the person, if you didn't do those checks, like, you know, name them again. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> yeah, if you didn't do those checks, like, do you think it would have, like, your response was, if you see someone, like, scratching their arms and, like, please, please give me a quid, give me a quid. Like, you know where that money's going to go. And let's say they get OD'd. Let's say the next day yeah. they're not outside Tesco. Now, do you feel responsible in that situation? Yeah. Because yeah, you did fuel that addiction. Yeah. Like, without your one quid, whatever, how much money you provided them to get that new... Um, I think it's about you intention. You could <laughs> argue in that sense, though, that they were going to do that regardless because they would have just got money from somewhere That's else. That's fine, but at least... You you you're not involved. You're not participating. Yeah. You're not pulling the plug. Mm. Yeah. So like that's that's my take on it. If you talk to someone of jumping off a cliff, but then they're gonna do it tomorrow anyway. You still did it day early, innit? You did your thing. It's still you're still you. Technically speaking, you gotta go court for that, mate. Manslaughter. Mm. Do you know what I mean? So it's like if you're giving a quid, I think it's about intention. So if you do your due diligence in the time that you have, in the moment that you meet them, and you know that they're not in sound mind, then with your moral conscience, you should not give them anything in terms of money. Buy them food or something physical that like you can just hand over to them and they can consume immediately. Um, but in terms of giving them money, no. But obviously, if they are in, by the looks of it, a sound mind and struck up a time or whatever, you can give them money and then leave them to their own devices. If they still go out and do something then, then there's a sort of a line where you're not really responsible for it, I think, from a moral perspective. Yeah, I agree with that. The, the, the most effective thing is just giving them water or food, 100%. Mm. Or Pepe's black card. But uh, that's and if they disagree with that, then guess yeah. what? Chances are, they don't want to. They don't want that. Yeah, they don't want it. What do they want? The they drugs. want the drizzy. Yeah. Is that what you lose? What? What injection? Yeah. Rather, than, rather than the black card. <laughs> with oh. the sloth <laughs> transmitted <laughs> infections. <laughs> sloth. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. 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 Fair, isn't it? That's fair. What was he arguing? Like he was saying. He was ar- so he was arguing that he doesn't mind what they do with the money mm. because he doesn't feel as though it's his right yeah. to dictate what they want to do yeah if they want to use that to relieve their own pain mm. then that's the decision the decision that they want to make i wonder if you'd go this and buy a bottle dumb hmm? i wonder if you'd actually go and buy a bottle that's a great exactly yeah. exactly yeah. like all right mm-hmm. you want to forget anyway here's a fucking smanny See what you do with it. Alright, this is many ice, bro. It's many ice. Imagine if he's like, nah, sorry, I only drink <laughs> Grey Goose or something. <laughs> oh, you take what you can. <laughs> only drink <laughs> AU, mate. Yeah. You fucking old spiky, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I wonder if this individual if what they s- would say to what I s- opposed about, like, okay, if they die the next day, they OD the next day, would you not feel some responsibility? Yeah, that's a good question. Because, well, like, for him, no, because you do whatever you want. It's a silly, p- silly perspective to have. Those are the type of people, in my opinion, a type of person who says something like that isn't someone that actually cares about the welfare of other people. Or is someone who just lacks self-awareness. Yeah, true. They could just be dumb. They're either dumb or they just don't care about their well-being. Because if you care about their well-being, you will not leave. If it was your mum and you knew that she had an addiction to heroin, you wouldn't then just give her the money and say, ah, you know what, if you need to do more to get rid of your stress, then that's absolutely fine. There's no difference between your mum and a homeless person in regards to but how much you should care for another human being. But you don't know. So in that situation, you, would, like, you wouldn't know they're going to spend the money on that. But this is what we said, we're getting yeah. doing a due diligence of sound mind or not. You know, that goes a long way. You Listen. But someone can have a sound mind and then still spend I it on alcohol. That's why I, I said. Even if you don't. You're covering your bases. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I mean, and also, even if you don't, do like due gil- diligence or whatever even then it's not it's completely fine to buy someone food rather than yeah yeah so like so that's what my question was yeah. would you ever give money to a homeless person i have but I you're saying you're saying you all have yeah i, I have, have and yeah. i will right? but it's con- uh, circumstantial so that's a, that's a contradictory statement then isn't but, it but the thing is i did way when i was younger 
Yeah. I used to give a lot of money. I, and also, I say a lot. I used to have like quids on me, and that's it. And yeah, when I was walking through town getting a trim, the two pounds I'd have left from a trim or something, I'll give that to a homeless person. But as I grew up and I realized how much. You realize how much those two, pe- two quids stack? I mean, they fucking add up. <laughs> they add up, son. Hey, inflation. <laughs> <laughs> and also, like, how fucking dark the world is, you kind of realize people probably need food over that kind of stuff. Yeah. Like, so what would be the situation that you would give money now? I don't think I would. The funny thing is, I legitimately don't walk around with cash. Legitimate. Yeah, I, yeah, I never have cash yeah. on me. I either. never have cash. That's just the yeah, honest truth. Yeah. So, yeah. like, it's that is why. I ain't gonna get into money's it. overrated. Nah, I was gonna <laughs> say psyops and governments trying to you know create cashless society in order to bring those who are even lower, even lower than that. I it mean, all links in it. It all it's links. It's true. Anti-homeless fucking measures are already. Oh yeah, that's like what I'm saying. They all. It's not the reason, but it's one of them. Decades, yeah. I know, but I'm just saying, like, even more stronger now. They're putting them everywhere. They're putting spikes on the floor. What kind of shit is that? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Before it was like. Then they don't create the environments to support the people that are actually, you know, homeless. Because well, they just want to eradicate them, don't yeah, they? Yeah, exactly. That's mental. So what? But which is also a contradictory you? statement because they want to eradicate those that are super poor, but then mm. they also get rich by abusing the people that are super poor. Which so if you're eradicating them, you're not going to be able to grow your wealth, which is what they do. Yeah, but that's mm. just the contradiction of capitalism. That's just that's just yeah. the truth. Capitalism sucks. Hey, Give why us communism. <laughs> why are you looking at me? <laughs> no, I'm just Give telling you. Give us mother communism. No, but that's that is just true, isn't it? It's the that's the. Are we joking? Listen, capitalists make money on the way up and they make money on the way down. That's capitalism. It's mental, bro. It's got to know how to do it. Anyway. Allegedly. <laughs> what are we at? The, um, I think we're done, 65. to be honest. 65, mate. 65, mate. Solid 30 minutes of that is serviceable. Yep. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Solid 10 minutes of that one gets cancelled. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. And a solid 50 minutes of that will get us cancelled. Yep. That's you, man. Yep. Yeah. Well, <laughs> you said some very questionable things there. Oh, it's satire, isn't it? Yeah, it's all satire. The only thing we're going to keep is Dean Barney's wedding. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. Thank you all for joining us on another heroic episode of the Atypical Podcast. We hope you've had a very enjoyable time. We hope you have been enjoying our episodes. We hope you've been having a wonderful time listening to the cacophony of episodes. I don't know if that's actually a word. <laughs> it, it is. No, it is. This guy's longing out there and ending. Yep. Ad rev. But, but, but. <laughs> I'd like to give a very warm thank you to Jay for his efforts today in this episode. I'd like to give a monumental thanks to Parshu for his efforts in this episode. <laughs> and I would like to thank the man seated to my right for this episode's contributions also. I would like to thank our producers, <laughs> uh, Sonal and our producer, Shaji. Uh, for their work and their help in this episode. I'm not drunk. I'm not homeless. <laughs> <laughs> I want to thank Hi- Sonal for his beautiful house that he's allowed us to rest upon. Thank you, And Sonal. within. And Shaji for his continued efforts behind the scenes as Even he raises his leg yes. into the air. Thank you, brother. I want to thank you all, the atypicalers, for the beautiful the and what ongoing did support. Say? What did he call us? Atypicalers. Because I refuse... <laughs> I refuse the tip. Yo, I don't live in a tipping culture. Just a tip, brother. So I want to thank you all for your ongoing support right <laughs> and <laughs> love and dedication you give to I'll us. Give thank you for all the subscriptions <laughs> and thank you for all the follows. <laughs> That's our colour scheme. Thank you for the la- lack of comments <laughs> and thank <laughs> you for the really abundance of likes. This is going to be the greatest the outro ever. I'll be honest. <laughs> and now, as I bid this episode goodbye, and the Jaws Still music going. and the Jaws music begins to play, Da-na. as I am Da-na. left out of this episode. I just want to say, keep going. Da-na, I'll, da-na, I'll keep, da-na, da-na, yeah, da-na, and da-na, just thank you all. Da-na, da-na, and this is how you get ChatGPT to increase your word count. Yes. <laughs> I was yeah. actually trying to do a thing there, so could you like start again from the beginning with the jaws? Uh, do, do, do quick like 10 seconds. Da-na. And I thank you all. Da-na. And um, as da-na. yes, this is coming da-na. in, you know what da-na. happens da-na. with uh, Oscar's episodes. Da-na. 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 You just spudded me with brass knuckles, bro. That's sorry, bro. Oh, thanks. Fuck.